We begin with continuing coverage of the death of a Canton woman. She was found naked, raped, and burned along an eastern Ohio road. Good evening. I'm Chris Flanagan. Danita has the night off. Today, police made an arrest. 20 year old Katrina Culberson of Canton has been charged in the gruesome death of 29 year old Celeste Franzman. On Sunday, Franzman was found by a motorist in Muskingum County just off State Route 208, naked with a tie around her neck and severely burned all over her body. News Channel 5 Stephanie Ramirez joins us now live in the newsroom with the latest. Stephanie. And Chris, what this latest arrest means for police is that they are one step closer to solving this vicious and brutal homicide investigation. Uh, today, police charged Katrina Culberson with aggravated murder, kidnapping, and aggravated arson, but she has not been charged with rape. I spoke to a Muskingum County Sheriff, uh, Matthew Lutz, who says they are still, uh, or they still have other persons of interest in this case that they are actively pursuing. The sheriff told us Culberson was taken into custody on Wednesday, August 29th. She was arrested on an outstanding felony warrant. And when we looked on Stark County's website at Culberson's past, it showed a record that includes convictions for drug paraphernalia, burglary, and soliciting prostitution. Sheriff Lutz affirmed again police believe this was no random act. He wouldn't say how, but he told us Culberson and Franzman knew one another. And when we last spoke with the victim's father, James Franzman knew his own daughter had an extensive rap sheet of her own, but he told us no human being deserves what happened to his daughter. I went to law enforcement agencies in Ohio to, to, do, to do their work, to get the person that did this to my daughter. And when we went back to his home to speak with the victim's father, we were greeted by a family friend who said they are happy of this arrest. They called the suspect a monster, but that family friend wouldn't say whether he knew her from the past. Now, uh, once the uh, victim, or I'm sorry, once the suspect is transferred to the Muskingum County Jail, arraignment is to follow. In the newsroom here, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.